Hello YouTubers, look what I found recently on eBay. This is a vacuum robot from Ecovax, model name Depot DM82 in a really good condition. And for sure, it is 40, and the best thing about this, it was completely for free. I thought why not to grab this one and make a repair video for you. The previous owner described the issue that the vacuum robot is beeping twice while charging. And when it is operating, it stops operation without driving back to the charging station. I think I really know where to look first and how to fix it quickly. Should be easy to repair it. Let's do it. So if you have issues with charging, uh, there are three possibilities to find the issue. The first one would be the, the power supply of the docking station. So if you have some voltage on the docking pins. The second issue would be the battery pack itself. Yeah, it could be debalanced or even, I don't know, maybe there is a fuse or something like that. And the third issue could be in the charging circuit itself. First of all, let's check the power supply. So here we have 18.7 volt. I assume this is fully okay and we have LED uh, lighting. Let's check the second one. This is the battery pack itself. Here you see the battery pack. Uh, there is only a two-wire connection to the vacuum robot itself, or vacuum cleaner. And we have a configuration of, of four cells in series. So this is the battery minus, the first cell, the second cell, the third cell and the fourth. And uh, let's measure the voltages. So on this cell we have 4.16, so it's nearly full. 4.16 4.17 quite balanced oh here one cell has only 3.36 volts so let me explain what happened here so you have the picture of the battery pack itself and what we have here, we have four cells in series and one string in parallel, that's why the name 4S1P. And the two connections which you see here are going directly to the vacuum cleaner. So usually a new battery pack, uh, each cell has uh, the same voltage because they are coming from the same production line. And the sum of it is uh, around 16.8 volt uh, at SOC 100% state of charge. Um, to protect each cell, there is the battery management system called BMS. This is the small IC here with the shunt and uh, the two switches. And basically this is a monitoring and protection uh, IC, which protects the battery pack of uh, overcurrent situations, over voltage of each cell and under voltage of each cell. In any failure case, uh, the BMS IC will open the switch and uh, cut off the battery pack from the, from the device itself. What we measured is that one cell is uh, around SOC zero, so it means it's uh, nearly empty. But the other three cells are full and uh, yeah, basically the issue is that the vacuum cleaner tries to charge up the battery pack up to a voltage which is known by the charging uh, circuitry, it's around 16.8 volt, but it never reaches this voltage because uh, the BMS cuts off the battery pack due to over voltage of um, some of the full cells if it's going over 4.2 volt yeah. uh, so the problem is the vacuum cleaner detects a battery disconnection while charging and that's why it's beeping to repair such a battery pack what you need is uh, basically a battery charger this is only an example this is a professional uh, lithium ion battery charger with up to six cells in series so this is the balancer connection and this goes to plus minus so basically it charges up uh, in, in series but monitoring each cell and uh, balance each cell 
by the external battery charger. Or you have something like this. This is a small USB battery bank. So this is really a cheap one. I think uh, I got it from AliExpress for around 50 cents. It has a 18650 cell inside and we could use uh, this circuitry to charge up each cell uh, separately. Let's do it this way. Check again the voltage. 3.3 and now solder it very carefully because there is a risk of explosion. So I connected it to a USB charger. Now it's charging with 900 milliamps. Let's see if the voltage is rising. Yes, we have already 3.5. So you see the indicator, the red light. I will let it uh, charging for some hours until the charge I see tells me that it's full. And I will do the same on the other one, that every cell is balanced to the same voltage. And this should be the solution. Here we are. After several hours, I balanced out this battery pack. So we have only maybe 10 millivolts difference, but this is okay for me. Yeah, the next thing uh, I wrap it together and uh, install it back in the vacuum cleaner and I will show you the result. What a surprise, without additional cost and small effort, I fixed it. I think my wife is more happy than I am, but for me it was a pleasure to bring this cleaner back to life. I hope that you learned something out of it. Nevertheless, thanks for watching, subscribe my channel, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.